Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dally Society. Today I'm going to talk to you about a dress that I made last year that hasn't had a great deal of publicity but it's one of my firm favourites. Now you know when you buy a pattern that you haven't heard a great deal about and you go you do a bit of research, you look on Instagram, you look up the hashtag about it, whether it's been a success, why it hasn't been highly publicized, or even if there's not a great deal of photos on Instagram. You, you buy the pattern, you take the chance, and you make up a, a mock-up version, and then you absolutely fall in love with it. Well, this is what happened when I made a seamweight pattern in 2018, and it's called the Lane Dress. Now, I made up a mock-up version um, just behind me here in a cotton slub interlock jersey. When I made up my mock-up version, I tried it on and I instantly fell in love with it. The things I liked most about it was that it had not only the um, tie front built into it, but it had princess seam lines through the dress as well. And being a jersey dress, that's not a feature that you find very often. So I really fell in love with the dress. I liked the fit. I liked the fact that it gave you a nice cinched in waistline. Um, the fact that it's very size inclusive as well. The lane dress comes in a size extra small to three extra large, so it's quite a, a broad size range. Uh, being a seamweight pattern, they're well known for being quite a roomy fit and quite a lot of ease. So I think I made a straight size 14 and I was thrilled with how it came up. Now the fabric requirements, I think it was 2.2 meters for the dress that I made. It calls for a medium weight stretch fabric. So think along the lines of a scuba, a French terry, um, a cotton interlock that's got that nice firm, maybe a little bit of polyester through it as well. Stay away from anything too thin or too drapey. So a rayon stretch might be a little bit too drapey. You get too much bagging through the, especially through the seam lines. You want something that's going to keep that nice firm stitch line, especially through the princess seam lines as well. So the one I've got on here, I'll put a little bit of uh, video footage up so you guys can have a little bit of a look at what you think about the style of it. Now I'm sure you'll all notice for a stretch knit dress it gives a beautiful shape. What I like most about this dress is the fact that the ties are actually part of the dress so they're, they're actually sewn into the side seams and it's got a really nice thick belt, double layered quite a wide belt that's actually sewn in and it's got a lot of little notches in the pattern to show you and guide you exactly where to sew those into the seam lines. Let's give you a bit of a look. Okay it's got the thick belt the princess seam lines and the really nice thick belt cinches in gives you a great shape now i think the model looks fantastic in this you'll see what's inspired me to sew the jade green as you can see with the jade green with the interlock it's a little bit more of a thinner jersey i love the way the model looked in this i think it's um it looks fantastic on her there's another picture i'll pop up as well you can see the, the line drawings and the other version i think they've made up is in a print scuba which i absolutely love it's definitely on my list as well. I think it'd be um, a really easy dress to hack for a warmer, like for a, a winter dress. If you wanted to add a sleeve on, I don't think there'd be any problem in using another pattern's sleeve as far as a stretch pattern goes. Uh, using the sleeve to add on to this because it's really just a normal um, armhole there. I'd be really interested to see this done in a French terry for a winter dress has got a little split at the back which you can um, make up as high as you like just to give you that extra room to walk around in because there's nothing worse than having a, a straight fitting tight fitting dress that you can't maneuver around in so i really like that feature so i really love the fact that um having a tie front is the built-in tie I, I love a dress that cinches in the waist but i'm not a really huge fan of ties i find they are annoying they can get lost and jumbled up in your wardrobe they're the sort of things that if they're not the right sort of thickness they yeah they can look a bit lost and not quite like they're part of the garment so having a built-in tie i think is a really lovely feature and this is, a, as I say, I made this in 2018. It's still something I wear all the time. I wear it for winter as well with, um, I'll pop a picture, a little uh, leather jacket over it um, with boots. So you can layer it quite easily. Um, but as I say, an interlock jersey knit dress that you can wear all year round is a fantastic feature to have in your wardrobe. 
Now, I love easy, comfortable garments that look good. I find that too much um, gathering doesn't make me have a great shape. I like to have something that's going to cinch in the waist a little bit, but I also believe that comfort to me is a number one priority. So I want to I want to look good, but I want the comfort and ease of wear. Otherwise, I just find I will not wear it. I'm really, really interested to make one of these up in a scuba for heading into autumn or winter. And I'm thinking a basic black one would be brilliant. But I also like the fact that I've seen it in an animal print. I think that would look really nice as well because you can say, layer it with tights um, and, and jackets. That's the lane dress. As I say, I haven't seen a lot of publicity about it when it first came out. I know the most popular dress in the wrap style version would be the named Kilo wrap dress. Now, a lot of people have had great success with that. It's a very similar style to this, but you won't have the princess seam lines and you have quite a lot more excess fabric because of the, it comes out like almost a triangular shape and you can wrap it either back around and back around the front. So you'll have a lot more volume of fabric. So that's kind of what turned me away from that. I like the fact that you can make this in a thicker knit but still have the shaping and the seam lines. Now talking about dresses with built-in wraps, I'm going to take you through a few styles that I found that I really love the look of. Very similar to this but with the built-in ties. Simplicity 8834 is a woven style wrap dress. It has got the ties built into the sides so you have a lot of fitting issues with that because it's so much ease in the dress but you can then cinch in the waist and you're away ready to go. Starlark also has a few dresses with built-in ties. There's the Starlark Pamela which I've seen done in a lot of different weight knits that looks gorgeous on as well. So the Starlark Astoria and the Starlark Serena. So Starlark does have quite a lot of jersey and I think I've, I've talked about that before with their broad range of knit and woven but um, having that so much variety in knit, knit patterns is a real bonus for there's the so different tie front dress now that dress I know they've done a quite a few hacks on that as well if you look at the so different website you'll see uh, there's a few gorgeous print dresses as well and that's in a woven another new pattern company that's an Australian based company is called Our Lady of Leisure and a dress that I've seen on their uh, website, which is a woven dress, it's called the Gin and Tonic. Now they've done that with, uh, I do like the name too, I must say. I was quite happy when I saw that. <laughs> it's my favorite drink. Now the Gin and Tonic dress has two different colored fronts. So you can do half black, half white, or half, you know, print and a plain. You really can get quite creative with that. And that does have the self-built in tie that you can wrap around the back and in the front as well. So a really interesting design feature. And I haven't sewn any of their range before. I'm really interested to look at their, there's one of their, I think they've got a boiler suit or a jumpsuit that I'm um, thinking looks quite interesting. Now I think it'd be a really uh, easy feature to hack any kind of dress that's got side seams built in. If you can find the, the tie front that you like uh, and the shape of it, and you know the right height to put it, it's quite an easy feature to hack on a garment yourself to put the built-in itself tie. Seam work, I have uh, sewn a lot of their patterns in the past. I've had a lot of hits and misses with their patterns. Uh, quite a few dresses in the past that I have found have been hugely successful to me. One would be the Manita dress or Manita dress. I think that that is a fantastic basic to have in your wardrobe for a knit dress. It has got a little bit of a gathering at the skirt, um, but it's got a beautiful shaped bodice. You can make it in a lot of different varieties of necklines as well. So the boat neck, I think is quite a pretty um, basic neckline to have as well. And they're actually hackable features. You can do sleeveless, you can do a little bow at the back too. On their blog, you'll see quite a lot of different versions of the Manita that's um, in, in hackable styles. So I first made the Manita, it would be going back about four or five years ago, and I still wear that dress. So it's something that it's um, a classic to have in your wardrobe. Um, back in the days where I made a lot of different vintage style dresses, this is one that I made around that same kind of era, and I still wear that where the others have all moved, on, moved along. It's so really versatile dress. Um, the lane, as I say, don't forget you can quite easily hack that with a long sleeve, um, even a mid sleeve. I think on the Manetta pattern that you'll see has got a, a, a sort of a three quarter sleeve. So, you know, it's the sort of thing that you can mix and match as well um, and add that on, add your, add your sleeves on to, to the lane dress to, to give you more of a winter weight dress. Now, the word flattering has come up a lot in the past too. It's the sort of word that I know a lot of um, sewists have refrained from using because they don't like the fact that flattering is a word that is meant to make you look slimmer. When I use the word flattering, I don't use it as uh, in a sense to say that 
uh, looking slimmer is better. I just like the fact that um, when I say flattering, I like how it gives you a silhouette. So um, it, there's a lot of discussion about that. I love the fact that when you have a self tie, you can give yourself a beautiful shapely silhouette. And sometimes it can give you that little bit of extra added confidence that you may not have and that we find ourselves hiding behind baggier, easier fit, comfortable clothes. And sometimes just giving yourself that little bit of shape or that lovely silhouette can really boost your confidence. So it's worth trying and getting out of your comfort zone, especially when you don't have to worry about fitting issues and being in a knit garment. It's a great way to branch out. And as I say, use something with a bit more shaping like the, like the princess seams. It gives you a beautiful, beautiful shape. So I hope you'll go and look at the lane. As I say, it's one of my favorite dresses and I have planned to make more. And uh, you can um, download it into PDF form or, or A0 form if you prefer that. If you wanna see more of my upcoming episodes, don't forget to click and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll be alerted to when my newest episode arrives. Now, if you've sewn with seamwork patterns before and you've been happy with what you've made, uh, comment in the link below because I'd love to hear um, any suggestions that you may have for certain patterns. There's a lot of patterns on there that I have seen before and I've never made up and I've been curious as to know what the style uh, felt like and what they've sewn up like. So yeah, please let me know of your experience. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time on the Dahlia Society. Bye for now.